Time to shit on men a little bit, okay? Ryan's this dude, I already saw brain. this video. Story, this dude, so this is like, you know, the other side of the uh, the the people that are losing their shit on West Elm Caleb's of the world or whatever the f okay? It's time for Fresh and Fit. Fresh and Fit is a podcast where they just basically berate women. Uh, there is no better way to describe it than it's a podcast with two this dudes, okay, hey, that are just straight behavior. up just like berating women and, and, you know, giving advice to men. There's this girl there's a, who's a fitness Instagrammer or something by the name of Brittany Renner. Uh, cursory Google search shows Brittany Renner dated a uh, little Uzi Vert and a basketball player, had a kid with a basketball player, then uh, got divorced. And uh, uh, people are... Anyway, I saw this video where Brittany Renner was destroying uh, the Fresh and Fit podcast like in this clip because they were doing what they normally do. They have female guests on and then they just like just f rip into them. I don't know why. I've seen a couple different versions of this. This is uh, this is DJ Academics off the record podcast, but that's the, the fresh and fit guy is doing that. So tell me about girls like me. What kind of girl am I? You're not special. You're like other girls. That's the key. I'm not special. Like so, you're like other women that are. So like, what makes you special then? I never said I was. What do you gain from telling girls that they're not special? How does that make you feel? I mean, I know are everything. Talking, is, I know we, everything is a joke, but I'm asking you a real question. So how does that make you feel? I mean, this is pretty good. It's like. And, uh, you know, back foot immediately, Game immediately. Like that's just straight roll reversal. And the dude is just owned, obliterated. Because if I say you're a bitch ass nigga, that does something for me. If I just say that again, you're forgettable. That's why I didn't want to do you guys' podcast. Forgettable. Hate the setup. Uh, the name is underwhelming. I didn't really see the value in it. If you've seen anything from these two dudes, like that is well warranted. It's really good. That's why it went fucking viral. So these dudes, this just like straight rip, absolutely just fucking rip on women regularly. And I saw a bunch of other clips from the uh, the academics podcast where they're having a conversation and he's basically describing like what a a one uh, percent guy is supposed to be like. It's hilarious. It's laughable. the The entire thing is basically this. I'm gonna give you the the short and sweet of it. Okay, one percent men that make a lot of money are allowed to cheat on their girlfriends, and you should put up with that if you're a woman. You should put up with that if you're a woman, because like, how else are you gonna keep a one percent guy? One percent guys like will fucking cheat on their wives all the time, and especially if you have a child, like, you should fucking stay with that person. Who cares if they're cheating on you, right? Do not have self-respect. If you're a woman, do not respect yourself. Do not have any sort of autonomy, obviously. And if you're a guy, it's okay to cheat on uh, your wife, but it's certainly not okay if a woman not only cheats on you, that's definitely not okay. But even if a woman has had sex with a lot of dudes prior, that's also not okay. And that's what he was talking about he here, does. where he's like, dude, what the fuck? Like, a woman is like a car. Like, why would you go buy a car? And he's so fucking mad here that he can't even, if this is what I'm thinking, if he's talking about the Lamborghini if, comparison, he can't even fucking say it. Like, he can't even get the words out. That's how fucking angry he is. Look. Why the hell are you going to pay full price for a goddamn car that's been used? What men women don't understand is men don't ask for much. Life. If I'm going to take you seriously as a girlfriend and or a wife, my only real request is that you don't embarrass me. Also, beta voice. Sorry. Beta voice, dude. Nope. Can't do it. I thought he was mad his girlfriend was buying a car without his permission. No, 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 no. He is, like, he is, you know. Men often fucking compare women to objects, okay? It's just, uh, that's just the thing. Like, people do that. It's a podcast for guys that unironically use this meme. Oh, yeah, don't worry, baby. He's just a nerd. Why do they always pick thugs years later? Hey, baby, remember me. Beat it, chick. Why can't I find a good man? Yeah, it is, it is actually... That's a perfect, perfect description of what this podcast is. He's not talking about a car here. He's talking about a woman. He's making a comparison. Uh, he's making a comparison uh, where he says women are like cars. Yeah, fuck other guys. But they have the fucking gall to sit here and say, yeah, it's a care. Yeah, it's a care. Let's no, you dumb bitch. <laughs> I'm not fucking insecure. I'm very secure in my goddamn confidence. I don't want to fucking wipe up no hoe. All right? And I'm tired of women out here telling dudes, small dick energy, small dick energy. I mean, he quite literally is small dick energy. What is really funny about this is that, like, I don't know That's why funny. he just said this out loud. Because it is actually small dick energy. And the only fucking dude, and there's unfortunately a lot of dudes like this. That's the unfortunate reality. The people that watch this and agree with him also have that exact same fucking small dick energy. And that's precisely the problem. A lot of dudes are like this. They're fucking pathetic. They're fucking losers. And this is not helping. This is catharsis you are just seeking out people that have like-minded psychotic and 
super misogynistic fucking uh, attitudes to, to give you a little, you, uh, you know, to hug bomb out. you or love bomb you or whatever. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for people that agree with you, okay? You're not trying to solve a problem. You're not trying to do any sort of like systemic analysis. You're not trying to actually fix yourself. You're not trying to fix anything. You are just looking for a guy who agrees with you because you've been hurt by women before, okay? And now you think all women are the same and that actually it's their fault and it's nothing that you have ever done or nothing that you could have ever done that is the reason for why you have shitty dates. And instead of fucking fixing yourself, you are just seeking Four out months, people seeking who are going to give you that exact same fucking entitled anger, that self-righteous entitled fucking anger and, and pump it back out to you so you can feel better about yourself. And just like I said to the women of TikTok this that were man. like, we should fucking, you know, dox this man and get him fired. Like that's not healthy or productive. Neither is this. So this is the two sides of that same fucking coin. You got fem cells on the one side, you got incels on the other. And that's precisely what you're doing. Hoes will be hoes. How is that common knowledge yet? It should be engraved into our DNA. What do you mean hoes will be hoes? I'm a hoe. Your mom probably was a hoe. It, it, there's nothing wrong with that. Breach I Googled it. That's his real name and he used to be a federal agent Cancel officially, that. but I'm guessing he's still is one with his content. Law, Myron Gaines, Professor Finn, another plan who used to create strife and division of the black community. He's not even black. Stop falling for the garbage. My name is Amber Fuddle. I was a former special agent of Homeland Security Investigations. I worked for the agency since 2010 as an intern. I did criminal investigations. I resigned from the job in 2020. I have nothing bad to say about my former employer. It was a fantastic career. Oh, no. I can tell why he's got a lot of resentment and anger. As someone who also has a receding hairline, I see what's going on there. Instead of doing these haram things, instead of doing these haram things by shitting on women all day, every day, if you just took finasteride and read the Quran, you would not be in the situation. That's my solution to you, my friend, okay? Oh, here, this is the clip I was looking for. Hold on, we gotta watch this. All I wanna say is this, cheating is not that big. Like, as women say, oh my God, he would've fucked another bitch. It's cheating for a man is not the same as cheating for a woman. If you guys cheat, it's a problem. It's a huge problem because a woman has to get to a certain Thanks emotional point Thanks to cheat on a man. But a man does not have to get to that same emotional point to have sex with another chick because you can still love your girl the same and go have sex with other women it does like this is psychotic bro that's like come on dude just have a fucking open relationship like just have an open relationship the only reason why you're refusing to have an open relationship in this situation is because you're insecure like you just don't want someone with better dick game than you to come around and totally cuck the shit out of you okay that's it. And there's always a guy out there. The only reason why you want to fucking hold on and, and, and say like, oh, I can cheat, but you can't is because you're terrified of a dude with a bigger dick than you, who is better looking than you, who's going to go and eat pussy better than you and fuck the shit out of your girlfriend in a way that you never could do. Okay. And that's precisely the fucking fear in the back of your mind. And that's why you're behaving this way. That's it. Oh, men can cheat, but women can't. No, shut the fuck up. Shut up, shut up. Just be in an open relationship. Be in an open relationship. It does not work the other way around, though. That's why cheating with from women is unforgivable. But from a guy, it ain't that big a deal, man. I love that this person also says, like, oh, like, men, you know, can love their uh, ladies after cheating on them and, and nothing changes. It's like, yeah, nothing changes because you never even fucking respected a woman to begin with. That's it. That's why nothing changes for you because... You just do not even lack the, the basic introductory level respect for a person to even get to that point. Like you have never loved, you've never respected a woman because of that. You just, you know, yeah, it doesn't change for you because what you think is love is probably like desire and, uh, and, and, you know, judging by how materialistic these dudes are, how they constantly talk about their My fucking, you know, Lambos ass. or whatever the fuck, nice cars, nice clothes and shit. I suspect they also treat a woman like, uh, like an object of desire that is also an object uh, uh, that is a class signifier. You don't love the woman that you're with. You will months. never love the They're woman that you're ass. with. You have to be able to respect them to be able to love them. Okay. You have to have mutual respect self-assurance like it's a partnership you're just fucking horny and you know you're using your girlfriend if you even have one as a lambo as an expensive belt that's it that's your gucci belt that's not your girlfriend that's a gucci belt for you and that's why it's always the same it's always the same if you cheat on them it's always the same if you think it's okay to cheat on them because you just have a, a gucci belt for a girlfriend what's really fucking sad about this is that because there's a lot of people that actually do feel this way they think that they can forever maintain the confidence that they're right you know what i mean but just because a lot of people agree with them and tell them that they're right does not actually mean they're fucking right they could consistently be in a sea of wrong fucking feelings 
that completely fucking avoid like 50% of the population, okay? Did no one in this room think three dudes mansplaining to a woman ain't a good look? Okay, are you crazy? They don't give a fuck about that. Come on, I don't even give a fuck about that. You think they give a fuck about that? They're like actually way more misogynistic than I am, you know what I mean? So for me, the lying and the cheating, I could not tolerate that to have the Bentley, to live in the $1.6 million house, to have my $15,000 allowance. Because that's what he was saying. He's like, Brittany, what more do you want from me? Ten you have everything here. What do you want? Kick- and I said, I want commitment. I want, I want you like, and, and I want you to be faithful to me. I that's what, that's all I want. Amazing. Yo, when you deal with a certain caliber of guy, you're not gonna get him to yourself. Like I, I need to drill this in women's head. Like, yo, the more money and status a man has, the less likely he's gonna be faithful to you. Dude, that's such fucking, that's ridiculous, dude. That is fucking ridiculous, dude. Months. I don't know how else to describe it. No, you're like a piece of shit, okay? You have to fucking be honest. You have to be honest. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe a monogamous relationship is just not for you. I don't understand what kind of fucking weird toxic justification this is for like, oh, just dude, you know, it's okay. Like men are just going to fucking cheat. Like men are just going to cheat. Rich men are going to cheat. Sorry. It's just the way it is. NBA players cheat a fuck ton, not justifying it. Yes, dude. Yes. Except here is the fucking idiotic part of this, okay? There are, I would suspect, more fucking men in the NBA that actually don't cheat than do, hustle, hustle, okay? Hustle. You just don't hear about it in the fucking news because that's like, you know, dog bites man versus man bites dog. It's just people are in fucking normal relationships. Stop throwing up question marks, dude. It's so stupid. You're being ridiculous. You're doing the thing. Of course, every time a fucking NBA player cheats on their wife, then it's news. So you only hear about it in the fucking news. Think about all the fucking relationships that you don't hear about in the news. It's not news when someone doesn't cheat on their wife, but it is news when someone does. So that's precisely why you have that fucking bias where you assume that everybody's fucking cheating nonstop. Not only that, but also what's really fucking dumb about this on top of everything else is this idea that like you can't be in an open relationship. You know what I mean? Like you just cannot have a a relationship based in trust love and caring for one another where you just recognize that like you know you want to fuck other people she might want to fuck other people you know what i mean like you, you that can happen and i feel like we are so scared of that shit we're just like nope not gonna happen that can't happen it has to be monogamous it has to be monogamous and i, I feel like there is more out there like you could do that i've had open relationships i've had non-open relationships like you know i i prefer monogamous but depending on the person you know it can happen it's fine you don't have to be scared of that like it might not be for you stuff. That doesn't automatically mean that you're scared. But these dudes definitely are. They're scared of their dick game. They're scared that they place a lot of emphasis on their masculinity and how they are in bed. And they're worried that it doesn't actually match up. They're worried. That's precisely why they're like, oh, we should be able to cheat, but like women shouldn't. That's crazy. When you get a top tier guy, guess what? Every other woman is going to want him and you have to accept the uncomfortable reality. I love that, but like top tier women don't exist, okay? In this universe. Top tier women do not exist in this universe where like every other guy wants them. You know, it's just like top tier guys, every other woman wants. You're going to have to share him sexually. But if you got the ring, you got the kid, you got the house, you got the money, etc. Women need to put their ego aside and understand that men are going to exercise options, especially when they get to a certain point. But if you have the main title, it is what it is. And this is where I, I, I got to be a little tough here. A lot of women think they're sugar and spice and everything nice and I'm fucking special. Y'all are really not that special, man. A lot of girls are the same, same box, same vagina, whatever it is. Guys like new pussy. It no. is what it is. Anyone that fucking hears this and goes, yo, he's spitting. is like automatically doing a self-report. You have to have his own mentality. This is a self-report same box same pussy you're talking about a human being like i'm not i'm not trying to be the fucking you look look let me just point this out okay i don't just look this way i also do have misogynistic takes from time to time okay i like to make jokes sometimes those jokes are at the expense of women but even i fucking know that as a guy who every now and then does uh, make uh, misogynistic jokes that this is psychotic you're literally like you think a woman is just a fucking pussy box dude what kind of fucking attitude is this that's a human being you're literally referring to a full human being with experiences wants fears you know turn offs turn ons as like a a plastic flesh uh, pussy box and the reason why i love talking about these dudes is because like they're kind of 
dumb. Like they're not smart enough to like fucking couch it uh, in like uh, more intellectual uh, attitudes that like other PUA nerds fucking engaging because these dudes are just like straight bros. You know what I mean? They're like jocks in the way that they like deliver their fucking message. Whereas a lot of those other fucking like weirdo PUA dudes on the internet will try to intellectualize their argument like Jordan Peterson. You know what I mean? That's why I like what they're saying because they're saying the exact same shit that fucking Jordan Peterson is saying, but they're saying it openly. So it's a great way to show people like what objectification looks like, what misogyny looks like. But this dude is openly telling you like, yeah, I think all women are the same. They're all mid because they fucking all just have the same pussy. Is tutorial on how to immediately repulse every single woman? No, that's not true. That's not true either. There's hella fucking women that are insecure as shit and will actually gravitate towards this. Just like there's hella fucking insecure men that uh, also uh, pathetically fucking uh, feel like uh, women deserve less and they're not like full-blown humans that will look to this guy and go, yeah, that guy's actually smart. There's a lot of even Twitch streamers on this fucking platform that present themselves as this like masculine beacon, right? This icon. They're fucking, they're like, oh, like, I'm like this. You know, I'm fucking, I'm a god. You know, I, I am, yeah, women are shitty, whatever. You know, there's there's a lot of fucking dudes that do this stuff. Even on this fucking website, there's a lot of dudes that do this stuff. I've called them out in the past. I'm not going to name any names. Some of you already fucking uh, figured it out. Months. That is a totally crafted outer shell that you have created for yourself that is over the top and over correctively confident, specifically so you can hide hey, the soft the tissue, the underbelly underneath it where your insecurities lie. A lot of these dudes that are like over the top, like machismo, they are legitimately terrified of who they are and they don't have that fucking confidence. So they engage in this overcorrective, hyper masculine behavior because of the way that a lot of other insecure watchers can't pick up on that because you know, they have that same level of insecurity. They have no way of gauging that as a as a, like fake, over the top, over corrective confidence. It is just to hide the the genuine little scaredy cat that they are deep down inside. People can't even comprehend it, and because a lot of people can't comprehend it, and most of these fucking dudes in the manosphere are exactly like that. They can just keep doing it because who cares? They can just keep doing it if everyone around them doesn't fucking uh, recognize it. If everyone Imagine around them doesn't understand it and and legitimately thinks that this person is real and they are actually like super confident super macho super masculine then they never have to actually internalize they never have to engage in like self-reflection and try to figure out why they are uh insecure and identify it and try to fix it why are you calling out ludwig like this kind of weird dude ludwig is the perfect example of the opposite of what i was talking about actually i was thinking of ludwig while i was talking about the fucking dudes that like hype up their bravado and and machismo because they're insecure ludwig is the perfect example of someone who is legitimately very confident and you can get that like you sense that off of ludwig when he is when he's talking the way he carries himself he is the soy king he doesn't care he openly is like i don't give a shit yeah i i come super fast i haven't had sex with a lot of girls and i come super fast and he'll own it because he understands that that's not like all you have to offer at the end of a relationship he's a dope person he's awesome i'm sure he's also joking about it too that's what it is he is he's dope he's 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 very charismatic he's very confident he's super cool to be around surely joking what no i'm being 100 percent serious so ludwig is like the perfect example of of like someone who is genuinely confident Men can have sex, detach of emotion. Yeah, because, yeah, because girls will make the cardinal mistake and think men and women are the same. We are not. Men look at sex like taking a piss. You guys look at it as a huge emotional investment. So for women, they can't fathom. How can you fuck another girl and come home to me? I just took a piss and I'm coming now to my main girl. That's not a big deal. Okay, he, he's not wrong about that, at least. Like, there is one part of it where it's like, for some men, men do not place a lot of emphasis, emotional connection to every kind of, like, sex that they've had especially if they have bad sex especially if they treat women as like uh you know a cum receptacle then yes obviously uh you're not gonna have a lot of good sex you're just gonna think like it's like masturbating into a pussy that's it that's why you're saying that he's like he's like oh it's just like i took a piss because there are a lot of women who are gonna watch this and get and, triggered and they're gonna be like misogyny get the fuck out of here yeah ah triggered misogyny no dude like you're crazy how are we gonna talk about 50 percent of the population and never actually listen to them dude Jane Goodall did more to fucking understand the everyday existence of chimps. Archaeologists do more to understand, like, the fucking societal formations when they're literally covering, like, uh, I don't know, ancient artifacts than this motherfucker does around women. Like, you could just, you have women in the flesh 
in the room with you and you're like, I don't want to even know your perspective. Like, fuck you. It's crazy. It's like, if this is your job, your job is to like, you know, explain certain things to men. Okay. And like, part of that is to also understand the perspective of a woman. I feel like he's never even asked this question. Like he's never looked at a woman as a human being and been like, what are the things that turn you on? What are the things that you don't like? The unfortunate reality here is that he will never give good advice yeah, yeah, because he doesn't understand it. It's like never looking at the other team. You know what I mean? It's like fucking, uh, it's like training for athletic competitions and not actually looking at how your competition operates. If you want to look at it from that, like real black and white, sexual marketplace PUA style attitude even on that front it doesn't make it doesn't make sense how are you going to play to the best of your ability if you have no fucking clue how the opposing team works uh, how the opposing team are they good at offense are they good at defense they have a fucking power forward uh, are you gonna implement the zone defense here like are you gonna do fucking man-to-man -man? like what, what are you gonna do you have no way of success here if you come out of the fucking field and just think no man I've worked really hard it's fine like, I, I, you know, it's, it's all good. Like, we, we have, like, the best, uh, we have the best players. Like, we'll win. There's no reason to comprehend how the other side is operating. If you are going to be an expert on a subject matter, you have to develop an understanding of the subject that you speak of, okay? Otherwise, you're not doing good analysis. You're not doing anything. You're not giving good advice. All you're doing is giving bad advice. But if they want a monogamous dude, should women date down or the standards. But I think for me, it's like, okay, well, you know what? I can respect that. I may not agree with it, but that just doesn't work for me. And I think, of course, you could look from that standpoint, like, hey, you know, move your ego. I think when it's more, I think if there was more transparency, like, hey, you know, like, you know, you're going to have this, this, and this, but I am going to, it's going to be more of an open relationship or, you know, I want you at home. You can't really do a thing. Or, or I want, or if it's like, oh, I want to be able to have threesomes. Oh, I want to fuck you with another man. But you took that, that choice away from me when you decided to be deceitful. And it's like, of course, you could assume because he's an NBA player, because he's young. But at the same time, like if I'm not doing it, and in my mind, like you said, we're wired so differently. Yeah. No, I am not discrediting that. By the way, uh, if there was no like emotional connection attached to sex, these and if they if it was just like taking a piss, these dudes would not be fucking screeching, okay? Absolutely losing their fucking minds when this supposed girlfriend also goes around and fucks other people, okay? For the record, that is uh, another way that they're lying. They're lying to themselves and they're lying to everyone else around them. So that that is the reality. Like I have in the past, I've hooked up with girls that I, I've been in open relationships with them. You know what I mean? We're dating. I like them. I like to be around them. I like to have sex with them. I'm not going to hold it down. You know what I mean? I don't want to like uh, engage in a monogamous relationship. So I don't care. I'll be, I'll be honest. I'll be like, yeah, go on dates. You know, have fun. Be safe. And that's it. And some of those girls will then go loud. on dates and like actually end up dating someone that they really like. And that's dope. It doesn't change my perspective. They're like, I don't care. I don't care if they do that. Why don't I care? Because, you know, they should have the liberty. They're not. They should do whatever the fuck they want to do. I'm doing whatever the fuck I want to do. You know what I mean? It's just, we're having fun. But that's also because I'm not fucking fearful. You know what I mean? And the dudes who say, oh, bro, what the fuck? Like, you're, you know, you're getting cucked or whatever the fuck. It's like, yeah, dude. I, yeah, that's a self-report. That's all that it is. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I didn't even fucking notice, dude. What? Look who it is. Bro, this is a perfect timing are we talking about cucks or something is that what i hear no 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 we're not talking about you call cucks. you call me a cuck what the fuck <laughs> this is perfect timing talking about cucks and here walks in. no no we're talking it's about like i walk in did somebody say cuck you know, hey. No, we we are currently talking about uh, men and women and like relationships, uh, stuff like that, like oh, relationship I love advice. This shit. Oh, perfect. All right, let's keep hey, going. Yeah. So this is Brittany Renner. She's on Off the Record with the uh, DJ Academics podcast. She's talking to these two Has dudes, it. fresh and fit. Okay. Um, these guys are huge misogynists. You will probably hear immediately. Okay. Why I'm saying that. Yeah. And she's just kind of owning them. Okay. I'm a very devoted person, so I'm assuming that. You know, I'm not wasting my time. I'm in this for the long haul. I want to get married. We want more kids. Like that was something we wanted to go back to back on, you know? So it's like, I'm thinking we're on the same page and I'm like, well, where do other women come into the equation of this relationship? But when you try to be sneaky and you lie and you doing whatever, and you're not even really taking care of what you need to take care of. Cause you're just, here's the money, here's the rent. Here's
here's the card, here's the card, I'm emotionally checked out. That just doesn't work for me. Right. And that's okay. Like there will be a woman that would be that would be like, bitch, you're so dumb. I literally would have sat there and just waited till I got the ring, have more kids with him, and just been in the house with, with my credit card, swipe, 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 do whatever. That's just not me because I've always gotten it on my own. I, I, I didn't have a sugar daddy. I didn't have a rich family. There was no, there was no help here. But it's the connection I want. I can't buy the connection. Society teaches women that they're special and they deserve the best guy and that guy's gonna be committed to them, which is a huge lie we tell women. The more successful the man, the less likely he's gonna be monogamous to you sexually. He's gonna fuck other bitches, but he's gonna come to you. And I tell girls all the time, yo, what you got a 1% guy, hold on, if he fucks these other bitches, that's fine. Yes. What the? I, that's right. I thought that was like, that ended after like that. No, it did not. These guys are keeping the game alive, okay? Society tells women that they're special and that's a lie, except men are special and they should be treated like they're special and they should be able to cheat on their uh, girlfriends and you should take it. It's great. They're not, I, I personally find this refreshing. It's like, they're honest. They're oh, honest because I'm they're so too fucking jock-like and too dumb and don't care enough to like actually try to intellectualize this and talk about the Pareto principle. 20% of the guys get 80% of the women. Like they don't, they're not doing any of that dumb Jordan Peterson shit. They're just straight saying it out loud, which is dope. Prime Bro, sub. please look at this. Uh, dude, it, it's like, I don't even care what she has to say. I'm sorry. Look at this. I didn't even think about this before. He is just wearing a plain hat. <laughs> what a fucking ridiculous thing to do. Like, women will get compliments just for being a woman. You'll get validation for being a certain gender. That's an amazing thing. That's that's a crazy thing. Like, men will get hated on just for being men. Damn, how <laughs> it seems like you should be honest about your uh, experiences and your relationships and, and the way you feel uh, with your homies. Like, that's not... It seems like a you problem, kind of. And I talked about this before. It's just like that dude is just whining so in the same way, way, way worse way than like and other people have whined a million times over. He's just like, the the okay, bro. But the point I was going to make again is just like, you're not fucking, you're, you're not it. That's okay. If you think that there is like such a thing, it's boy. the same energy as putting your fucking IQ on your fucking dating app profile. Okay. If you spend a, a, an insane amount of time, like thinking about IQ and how high your IQ is, you're a fucking idiot. Like you're not, you're not smart. I'm sorry. That's it. That's the same exact shit where it's like, oh my God, like my IQ is really high. No, no, it's not automatically disqualified. And when people say that they're a top tier guy, no, you're not. I mean, I'll just say this one last thing. I, I would try to work it out with him, man. If I, if I was the girl, I would try to work out. And that's a, that's the father of your child. Oh, if I was the girl. Oh, mm. cause it's one sided. If I was the girl, I would let, I would let my man cheat on me all day, every day, bro. Come on, bro. Cheating? That's nothing. Any guy that you deal with, especially at your level now. No, real talk. It sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. Like you're at a certain status and a socioeconomic level where the average guy is no, you cannot deal with a regular guy no more. You have to deal with an entertainer, somebody that has money, an investor, something, whatever it is. Why? Like you're gonna have to deal with a guy that makes a certain amount of money. Why does she have And to these do that? guys are going to go out and step out and fuck other anyway. chicks anyway. So you might as well accept what? it from the father of your child than some other random dude that I'm not is gonna probably gonna have chicks. a point of contention with your past anyway. All I wanna say is this. Cheating is not that big. Like, as women say, oh my God, he would have fucked another bitch. It's cheating for a man is not the same as cheating for a woman. If you guys cheat, it's a problem. It's a huge problem because a woman has to get to a certain emotional point to cheat on a man. But a man does not have to get to that same emotional point to have sex with another chick because you can still love your girl the same and go have sex with other women. It does not work the other way around, though. That's why cheating with from women is unforgivable. But from a guy, it ain't that big a deal, man. Like, what? Are you kidding me? I just can't believe that this is actually a thing. You know what I mean? What to do if you have a girl at your place and she says, no, I don't want to have sex. Cool. No problem. I respect your boundaries. But. But. Oh, no. Hey, There's no but. That's the end of the video. Control. Cool. That's no problem. But. <laughs> you're going to pull out your phone, get up and walk into another room. You're going to either call another girl or pretend you're talking to another girl. Then you're going to come back out and tell her, hey, listen, it was nice hanging out with you, but you got to go now. And then you let her mind race thinking, oh, this guy really just called another girl just now. Anyone that gets duped into like fucking someone because they did some shit like that. They're not, they're not happy regardless. Okay. Like, are you crazy? Who would this work on?
why would this why would you want this to work how are motherfuckers upset at west elm caleb when this guy is saying this shit and getting paid to say this shit dude y'all are a bunch of dumbasses i swear to god you fucking dumbass fem cells that get mad at me or get mad at fucking west elm caleb meanwhile this dude is like literally operating and making money off these takes but the funniest question i have to ask once again is why would you want to fuck someone who only moments ago said that they did not want to fuck you and and they're only fucking you now because like of some like so fear like of missing out or some shit like you don't want someone to fuck you because of fomo dude that sucks that's so sad the best part of sex is them wanting you that's yeah the best part the best part of sex is the other person being into it it's the best yeah i don't understand that at all like if my know. partner isn't having the best time in the world it's not great for me bro this dude literally is so desperate though like it's obvious he's like i i want to wherever i can get it i don't give a fuck if it's a pity light okay i better either a give him what he wants because he's gonna kick me out of here and i might lose this guy or b she never want to have sex with you in the first place and you get rid of a time waster you're welcome well, maybe you're getting rid of a time waster bro women are only good okay, for sex so obviously a woman that doesn't want to fuck you is a time waster this dude is never going to be happy like there's just never ever going to be a moment where this dude is happy for the rest of his life zero percent chance so at least ladies if you're like upset about the misogyny that you're fucking hearing from this shit or if you're upset that this dude is just like reinforcing all the fucking patriarchal constructs social constructs that are harming women just remind yourself that he is literally always sad he's balding and he's very sad this dude has never had a happy moment in his entire life and he never will